coffee in the morning. Nuevo video. <laughs> Welcome to a new video. Today we're over at Retro Gaming Dungeon in Calca. Pretty much the first uh, retro gaming convention in a long time. It's been like two years. We're super excited. So uh, yeah, man. Let's uh, let's smoke this go. Up. Okay guys, I'm back over in the toy room, uh, back from my first retro gaming convention in a friggin' long time. It's been two years of just events being postponed due to the COVID regulations, which I totally understand, but man, did it feel good to finally be back. I initially set up just to sell off my doubles, which I had been accumulating during uh, the quarantine. I've been upgrading stuff, so I had some stuff to sell, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't keep myself from walking around just a little bit. It's uh, pretty tough trying to get back into the way of how to film a convention and you know making segments within it so that's kind of missing i'm hoping me matthias and renzo can get that back on track for the next one but um yeah so far this day has been amazing it's been so cool seeing new faces seeing all these familiar faces um pop up and doing their thing and it's all and it also looks like comic-con in brussels is going to be happening in october so i'm really looking forward to that let's dive into some of these pickups yeah. so this is for the uh red dragon zord power rangers little guy awesome thanks kevin it's the golf game man five bucks five bucks little man are you excited? Yeah, man. Yeah. I already found some Mighty Max. Oh, yeah. Show me what you got. Show you what you got. So I got this Jimmy Snuka wrestler. Hasbro. Hasbro. And then I got two very cool Mighty Max. I got the Snaily thingy. Which I've been looking for for a long time. It's a really hard one to find. Complete. Complete, complete yeah. You know, Mighty Max always things missing. And then I got my favorite of all, the Frankenstein uh, hand. Been looking for this one forever. Uh, I'm really happy with it. So I know Matty has already showed you some of the pickups. Uh, I want to show you some stuff. Let's see, one of the first boots me and Matthias went to was Lazlo's boot where Matthias got all of the Mighty Max stuff. Matthias should really get his own Matty Max figure done. It would be so freaking cool to see. Uh, but anyways, he was eyeballing some of that Mighty Max playset goodness. Uh, I was already thinking through all of those bins filled with awesome toys. And of course I got some stuff. Finally got the Black Star main character still with the uh, fire inside as you can see that's awesome got a new extreme dinosaur which I didn't have yet apparently he's somewhat harder to get 
I got another movie foot soldier and a new adventures of he-man figure uh, the name escapes me now but um, I'm slowly trying to build up that collection because I actually really like the way they look even though you might not be up for it I, I enjoy collecting for this line and then uh, with everybody picking up Mighty Max I have to pick up this one uh, kind of like a tick um, but I think this one looked really cool. I saw it, somebody posted it on Instagram and it already reminded me of, hey, next time I see some of these, I need to pick this one up. So inside, as you can see, it looks to be complete. So we'll look, you got the big spider here, got Max. And on the other side, there is uh, a villainous being. So that's the little top. And I guess this thing also opens up, revealing another gruesome dead body. <laughs> Look at that. Enough. Will it focus? It's focusing, I guess. I had already set up a deal with Laszlo, like, before COVID, so that's what these. That's where these came from. He had picked up a huge lot of Toy Biz. So out of that lot he got are all of these. I got the Mysterio, which I think looks really cool. This one I was definitely gunning for. We got the Punisher, really cool, with the trench coat. We have Spider-Man's uh, Lizard Doctor. Uh, I'm really not good with names, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys can correct me, of course. But uh, the big thing about this one is that he has his tail because that one's always missing over here. Um, got the Goblin, Spider-Man. Not sure who this dude is, but uh, I'm hoping you guys are going to help me out. Then I'm not sure where these two came from. Not sure if I picked these out. Maybe you just threw in some for free. And uh, this is also a Spider-Man character, which I know from the cartoon, but... I actually don't know his name. I always thought he looked really cool. Love that uh, that the color uh, ensemble. Yeah. Did you buy anything? Or uh, I bought two Mighty Maxes. It's the only thing I didn't buy any games uh, yet. So yeah. still uh, looking around. Yeah, I, I bought lots of stuff, but I forgot the film. Yeah. This. Well, this just kind of happened. <laughs> then Leslie and uh, Kuhn, they had a boot kind of together, I'm not sure. And Leslie, he still had one of these gizmo uh, face masks of uh, Gremlins, so that's pretty cool with the little Caesar tag still on it. Um, yeah. Love the sculpting on this because it's also very nicely sculpted. I'm always looking for gremlin stuff, um, so this is gonna be very cool to add and maybe pop it, you know, somewhere on uh, on the wall over there next to my posters. Leslie also gave me a deal on this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on card. This is the Star Trek Captain Leonardo. This is actually the first Star Trek one I have on card, so I'm still looking for all the other ones. Um, really cool that they actually uh, did this line. I know they have plans to make a Star Wars and an Indiana Jones one as well, so if this thing could happen, um, it's it's a shame. But, you know, there's some sculpting out there for certain ones, or at least sketches. You know, Playmates also had the license to do Star Trek, and it was, I guess, done pretty much by Anaglyph and uh, Farner as well, so uh, it, it was a no-brainer for Playmates to get this done, I guess. And then Kuhn, he brought tons of really cool turtle stuff. He's um, Shredder. He's Shredhead88 on Instagram. He had this Burger King Zap thing uh, with Shredder in there. Uh, he had this baggie filled with buttons and some cards, so yeah. These were like five each uh, which was great and he also had some cool posters so this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 1 poster so I knew he had a couple so I grabbed two uh, just to be sure you, you never know what happens to one and then I can still have this one Oslo can Oh, 
freaking Game Boy sewing machine. One thing that I did notice over at this retro gaming convention is that there was a lot more stuff. Um, not just retro games, graded games, but you also had Pokemon cards, graded ones, and a ton of vintage toys. So I'm pretty glad about that. It means that uh, the retro community or the collecting public is kind of like expanding to all these other things, um, which means like I guess more people might be able to come out to these conventions. It's mainly about the collecting aspect of it, um, getting all the missing pieces you need. You're just walking around over there and suddenly nostalgia hits you. So over at Brees, his boot, a friend of mine, uh, he had this just lying down. I saw a glimpse of it and I knew I had to go and pick this up. This is the Disney's Aladdin toy line by Mattel. And I think I had a couple of these. I actually had uh, the genie, uh, had Aladdin with this uh, flying carpet and a poo. So seeing this one back again on card was really cool. Uh, not in the best shape, but this one was only, you know, five. It, it was a fiver, so uh, couldn't really leave this behind. So in some of the comments, um, stuff has been coming up like, why don't you ever pick up games? Well, I already have a ton of games. The thing I collected for the longest time has been games. I've been collecting those for like, 13, 14 years already, so I pretty much already have everything. There's a couple of uh, gaming systems I'm trying to go for a full set, and uh, one of those is the Game Boy. And a collector friend of mine who is also very much into collecting Game Boy is calling it quits. Uh, and he had a ton that I still needed, so he gave me a great deal on all of these. I ended up with Power Mission, I got Star Trek The Next Generation, which is a game that I have the box for. I've already had this box for eight years, and now I finally have the cartridge to make it complete. I got the uh, translator Berlitz French, got Buster Bros, which is a, uh, what is it again? I think this is Super Pang, but like uh, a redone version. And we got Dick Tracy. This one has been really tough to find uh, for me. Uh, I never see this one, so that's pretty cool. And then we got Nabuga's Ambition. Don't really know anything about this one. I'm mainly just missing uh, USA exclusive games right now. So out of the 600 plus Game Boy games that are out there, in the PAL and NTSC world. Uh, I'm missing about 18, uh, maybe 15 now. I have to double check. So I'm, I'm always looking around for games, but uh, at a convention, I'm just picking up what I pretty much want or really need. Uh, so I ended up seeing lots of friends again. I saw Jody who had a really cool boot. He had a uh, mosquito with the gun. So I was like asking, hey, how much do you want for that one? Um, and his, his price was fair, but uh, I told him like, yeah, I, honestly, I just needed a gun. And he had an extra freaking gun. So I ended up picking this one up from him. Uh, he even gave me a deal on it. So that was very nice of you, buddy. Thank you so much. Now I finally have my mosquito complete. So that's pretty much uh, all the stuff that I, that I picked up over there. Um, friend of mine, he also uh, reached out to me. He was like, hey, I found all of these turtles and some Thundercats. Uh, can you take a look at it for me? And uh, that's what I'll sometimes do. I'll, I'll just check it out and, you know, shoot some prices with him. Um, so the weird thing about these is that there were two sets of these movie turtles in there, which are getting pretty wanted, definitely when they still have everything intact. So these are in really good condition but they're they're missing you know the extra accessories so they do have you know the bow staff or the size um but apart from that you know some stuff is missing and uh in the end uh, i ended shooting him you know an offer for all of it um and uh now i'm just gonna see if i can upgrade my collection with some of these because they're in pretty good condition there are also a couple of thundercats in there might army built this one so why not and uh a lino there you go there's a lino so uh, yeah really weird two sets of uh 
just movie turtles and two splinters. So, very cool. Very awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All of my pickups. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you can always subscribe for more toy content. I put out uh, videos usually weekly on 80s and 90s toys. I head out to conventions. Hopefully I'm going to be heading out to Texas to see my buddies over at Retropalooza uh, at the end of October. And uh, yeah, for until then I'll try pumping out some more videos. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can always check out the Patreon I have set up, or you can just leave a comment, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you know, all that good stuff. Let me know what you picked up uh, in the past couple weeks. Maybe you went to a flea market or to a convention. Definitely leave that down in the comments, and I hope to see you in the next video. Let's, <laughs> let's smoke a safke and then let's go. <laughs> Tell it to the people. Kalken, eh? Kalken. Well, in Tengels, eh? The Kalken Retro Gamers, man. Retro Gaming Dungeon. Dungeon, in man. Kalken. Man. No, man, actor, eh? Man. Dat is allemaal in postproductie te fixen en nu deze. Alle gebruikers. Allemaal in post, eh, man. Yeah.